Hello friends, today let's solve this redundant connection problem. In this problem, a tree is an undirected graph that is connected and has no circles. The given input is a graph that started at the tree with n nodes with distinct values 1, 2, 2, n, with one additional edge added. The added edge had two different vertex chosen from 1, 2, n, and it was not an edge that already existed. The resulting graph is given a 2D array of edges. Each element of edges is a pair u, v, with u less than v. That represents an undirected edge connecting nodes u and v. So uh, this problem basically is ask us to find an edge that uh, let all uh, let the graph have a circle. Why? Because this is an undirected graph, and uh, when we remove uh, one edge, then the whole graph will not have a circle. Um, so, how to detect a circle in an undirected graph? Yes, we need to use destroying set and perform the unified algorithm to detect that circle. So let's review the unified algorithm. We have a find, a, a find method and a union method. In the find method, for a given node x, we will find its root. If the root x is not equal to the x, because initially we assign root i equal to the i, which means each node, its parent node is itself. So, oh, let's see. Uh, okay, so if it's not equal to itself, we will find its parent. Uh, this is a is a naive implementation of the union. Uh, we will just skip it because we need to take use of two optimization technique. One is the union by rank. So let's see this better implementation. If we want to re union one and uh, uh, zero and one, we just connect them. If we want to union one and two, we just connect them. And then we connect two and three. So this uh, set will be very long. If we want to find uh, the find uh, which set this zero belongs to, the will be log n, oh, sorry, the time complexity will be big O n because we will uh, check every node. Can we do better? Yes, we can use the technical union by rank. What does that mean? You see, we want to union 0 and 1 because uh, each of them is, is, either of them only have one node, so we just connect them. Then we want to union 1 and 2 because you see 0 and 1 belongs to one set and 2 is just a single so we just uh, uh, let uh, the root of the 2 equal to 1 so in this sense we just let the size of the uh, we, uh, we attach the set which has the smaller size to the set which has a larger size but you know the rank uh, can mean the height of the tree usually I will write the size this is one part another optimiza uh, optimization technique is the parse compression it is used in the union part oh, sorry the find part and you see if we want to find the parent of these three you will check uh, if the parent of 3 equal to itself is not, then we keep find the, the parent of 3's parent, which is 4. 4 still not equal to root 4, because root 4 is equal to 9. So we keep uh, find the root 4, which is 9. This time, root 9 equal to itself. So we let uh, all the nodes in the same parts, uh, their root equal to the 9. So that means root 3 will equal to 9, root 4 will equal to 9. It's just like this. 
So next time when you try to find the root of 3, you will directly find this line. This is the path compression. Okay, so now let's write the destroying set. Plus DSU, we name that. And uh, as you see, we will need a root, which mark uh, the parent of each node, and a size, which marks the size of uh, each set. So public DSU we will pass n. Then we uh, root equal to new n, and the size equal to new int n. And we will uh, assign the initial value to every node in the root equal to itself, root i equal to i. OK, then we will write uh, two methods. One is find. As I said, if you find the root x not equal to x, we will just update every root x in this parse equal to find the root x. Finally, we return root x. And uh, we also need to write uh, union. In this parse, we will write uh, boolean. Why? Because uh, you see, if I can, if I cannot uh, union this two nodes, we return false. Otherwise, we return true. So this is x, y. We first find their root. This is root x equal to find x, and the root y equal to find y. If root x equal to root y, we return false. They already in the same set. We cannot union them, so we return false. It means they have a circle. Otherwise, if the size root x less than size root y, we attach this smaller set to the larger set. That means root root x will equal to root y. At the same time, the size of the root y will increment by 1. Else, root root y equal to root x size root x plus plus. If we can union them, we just return true. OK, this is our destroying set data structure. And we first get this n. That means the age in the ages. And you will notice that the node starts from index 1. So we should uh, declare a DSU and uh, pass n plus 1 to it. And uh, for every age in the ages, if we cannot union them, DSU, E0, E1, we cannot DSU dot union. We return for uh we return the current age. Otherwise, we need to return an array because we cannot just uh, miss this return uh statement. Okay, it should be false. Thank you for watching. See you next time.